This time we're dealing with an implicit differentiation problem. So we have a function which is given implicitly through the following quality. 3xy plus 7 squared equals 18y. y is a function of x. We don't know exactly what kind of a function, but what we know for sure is that y depends on x. And we were asked to find the derivative of this function, y prime. In this case, finding the explicit expression for the y function, i.e. transforming the given equality into this form, y equals f of x, is rather difficult and moreover, it will intricate finding the derivative. So, that is why we will work with the equality just as it is. One pretty and relatively easy way to find the derivative of this function, <coughs> of the function which is given implicitly, like ours, is to differentiate both sides of the given equality and then you will see that we will be able to find, to express y prime uh, having simplified the obtained expression. So I suggest that we move that away. So we're going to need to find the derivatives of the uh, left and right hand side of this equality. On the left we have the quadratic function and I suggest that we expand these brackets. So we have 3xy plus 7 squared and expanding will obtain 9x squared y squared plus 42x y plus 49. And now let us find the derivative of this expression. So we have 9x squared y squared plus 42xy plus 49 prime. As we know, the derivative of the sum is equal to the sum of the derivatives. This means that we can write down the following. This expression is equal to 9x squared y squared prime plus 42xy prime plus 49 prime. Now we have to be careful at this moment because, as you can see, these first two sums are actually the derivatives of the products. So this means that we then have to use the following formula. u times v prime equals u prime v plus u v prime. Y prime. 
And we know that this sum right here equals zero. Now moving on with this expression. It is equal to nine multiplied by two x y squared plus two x squared y times y prime plus 42 times y plus x times y prime. And we do remember that y is a function of x. So that is how these y primes right here appear. Okay, moving on. We can now open the brackets and so we'll obtain 18 xy squared plus 18 x squared y times y prime plus 42 y plus 42 x times y prime. And this is what we obtained having, multi uh, having differentiated the left hand side of the given equality. Now we have to differentiate the right hand side. And it is much more simple because the derivative of 18y is simply 18 times y prime. Now let us equate the expressions we've obtained. the whole expression by 6. This will simplify it a little bit. And this leaves us with 3xy squared plus 3x squared y times y prime plus 7y plus 7x times y prime. And this is equal to 3y prime. Now I suggest that we uh, move all the summons which have y prime in them to the left and all the rest to the right. So we go 3x squared y times y prime plus 7x times y prime minus 3y prime equals negative 3xy squared 
and minus 7y. We can factor out y prime on the left. And this leaves us with y prime multiplied by 3x squared y plus 7x minus 3. And on the right we still have this expression, negative 3xy squared minus 7y. And now finally, y prime equals 3xy squared minus 7y over 3x squared y plus 7x minus 3. And this is our final answer. Note that uh, it contains both x and y variables, which may seem a little bit unusual, but this is exactly how it should be when we are dealing with a function which is given implicitly.